そうそれを取ってみてください。That's ghetto, but I'm, we definitely tried that. That's why I was laughing. It's just like, don't make that all play. Alright, so we got mental corn, we got some bread, we got some beef tips, some uh, meatball nut, some meatless meatball. Ooh, fresh basil. Yeah, that, I saw the fresh one, I was typing days and I saw the fresh one, I was like, ooh, that'd be So what you thinking like, let me see. Okay. I was thinking if I especially if it didn't take long, uh maybe a pizza. But I think this might take a little bit. That and we don't have everything for that, right? Oh, we got sauces, parmesan, meat, garlic, basil. We got flour, tomatoes in there that I could roast. But I just didn't feel like, uh, I mean, I don't mind it, but right now we're trying to eat, so. I it's not like I, I, Like I said, I was thinking like Italian. Pizza mm. is Italian. So, if you wanted to, I had never got Snook's pasta before, but when I saw that it was something we could have, I'm like, okay, oh, cool. I thought this was like, it was cheap. It was the cheapest one, you know, Snook's could be pretty pricey. Yeah. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll get started with the sauce. What is the lower skill? Do any on this side of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're fine since you're comfortable. Plus, we, it's just making uh, spaghetti and that ain't take much. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend that sauce and this basil together. Ah, oh, by the way, it smells. You probably could just like cook it up in the skillet together because you know it's gonna wilt when you. When they heat, well, I was gonna, away. I was gonna do that. Put it to blend it together, so it won't just be big leaves of basil in there. I was gonna blend it together so it can kind of blend along with the salt, the uh, tomatoes, and then cook it down. Cause uh, yeah, you definitely don't want big leaves of basil. In there. Well, that was just thinking like cut it, like I could maybe roughly chop it. Good work. I just chop it up. You need me to do it? Oh, no, I'm alright. You comfy, gonna do your thing. Can you play some chill hot? Huh? Yeah, that'd be cool. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. So I got some uh, fresh basil here. So I'm gonna take some of this and we're gonna finally chop it. Oh man, the smell of fresh basil is just, there's nothing compares. Such a unique smell and a unique taste, but when done right, it's just amazing. It kind of reminds me of cilantro in a way. The cilantro is just like a little more, I don't know, a little more obnoxious about it. Basil is a little smoother, it seems like. I hate that they only put like three leaves in the pack. Man. Yeah, 
and Snooks will do it. Bro, how you lose a whole skillet? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Bro, how you lose a skillet and it was literally next to you? Alright. Oh, this stuff smells amazing. I've been watching like uh, a lot of them Charlemagne the God interviews with different people when it's just him by himself. I like those interviews. some cans of tomato sauce to it. Should have had you grab a can of paste. some minced garlic to it as well. I had a few tablespoons to this because uh, I like garlic. <laughs> oh man, this smells great.
Lurking and streaming. What's good with you? What up? What's good with you, veteran? Thank you for coming by, man. And since you're here lurking, you'll be earning points uh, while you're here. 40 points every 10 minutes that you're here. And if you're subscribed, it'll be 80 points every 10 minutes. So strong work, man. Appreciate it. Add some seasoning to it. So we got minced garlic in there already. We picked up some vegan Parmesan cheese.
All right, so we got like at least eight cans of sauce here. I'm gonna put that on the stove and just let that simmer. So we're gonna throw this on the skillet there. I'm gonna say we may. Man. We're gonna either cook up these or are we cooking both or just one or the other? Huh? We're cooking both of the gardens or one or the other. Um, it's totally up to you though. If you want to put both of them, I'd be okay with 
the last time we had meatballs, it was. If you don't, that's okay. It was a decent amount of them in there, but not that much. Okay. It don't matter. Yeah, that's not good. I was just trying to make sure we had enough of everything since it was like somewhat of a simple meal. Yeah. Like it wasn't too extravagant. So I wanted to have enough of yeah. flavor, you know? Well, I'm going to crack open one of these wines and give me a little sip. I was gonna put it in the freezer. I'm just like, no, nah, leave it out. <laughs> Dude, you can come in. You're not naked, and my camera's right here. What are you trying to get? I can. I was gonna grab me a bottle because I want some too. I mean, uh, yeah. I want some too. I wanna Cork opener that that guy showed in that video. Yeah, because it seems so simple. But jobs. <laughs> Ooh. That's good, right? Hello. That's pretty good. Nice smooth one right there. <laughs> Please, if you are under the age you are not to consume any of these products. Get your baby's kids, but off of the screen. I mean, I can watch them with all that on. They just been out here. Don't need to watch it either. <laughs> or watch Barney or something. What the kids watch nowadays? Drug rats? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jacks, 
So we got the water boiling right now. I guess we can start getting this bread together, y'all. Okay. All right, so we got some bread here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to open this up and we're gonna dress these and place these into the oven. Got a pan here, so we'll dress the bread, place it on here, and we're gonna set that to the side. Ooh, it's kinda, kinda soft. What happened? Hmm. No. I come out this bread, it's kinda soft. Take a little bit of butter out. We're gonna use that. Just a little bit of minced garlic.
So we got some butter, some uh, parsley, salt, pepper, garlic in here. And I'm gonna add a little bit of minced garlic to it as well. Just a little bit. So I'll put that in the microwave for roughly about uh, roughly about maybe 30 seconds, not too long. So when that comes out of the microwave, we're gonna take Let that cook down a little bit longer. Once it gets done, we're gonna dip this in our bowl and we're gonna dress all the bread. Try to thoroughly dress it so that way when it bakes, it has a nice flavor going on. So we're just gonna dress these. What up, Zaka? Did you just follow me? You are, yo, you are five. What's going on, man? How's it going today, man? Yes, that's the royal hierarchy. You can join at sub-tier level one, two, or three. Duke, Duchess, Prince, Princess, or King or Queen. How's your day going today, man? Oh, oh yeah, I got something too. Let me see here. song request will work. 
Yeah, I don't think the song request will work, so you can try it, but it may not work. Yeah, I don't think the song request works yet. We won't have that feature until later. I can't wait though. It's pretty. It'll be pretty cool, man. Get some nice song requests in. How have you been doing today? So right now we are cooking. I got some pasta that I'm cooking. And we are cooking up, making up some garlic bread right now. I got some Italian bread here. I got some garlic butter that I'm putting on here. Just kind of dressing it and <laughs> Appreciate it, man. No problem. Much love for you guys as well. Look at that. Take a look at this. We got that garlic butter. We got butter, garlic, a little bit of salt, pepper, and parsley. And we're just taking our brush here and just sort of brushing it onto the bread before we throw it into the oven. Look at that, man. That's gonna be dope. What you been up to today? Dressing this here. What's up? What's up? What's that? Janate? Janot? Or oh, Nalt? What's up, Nalt? Yeah, we got some uh, garlic bread that we're making here. How's your day been going? Like, welcome to the stream. Fish where you dropping by. Got 
got some uh, Dollar Family wine. Good stuff. So how old do you think I am? You know what? The fact that I can't see you or hear you, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll take a wild guess and say you're 17. <laughs> oh wow. I was close. I was close, you know what I mean? <laughs> I was close. Ah, oh, nice. Well, it's good to have you guys here today. Appreciate you dropping by. Saying hi to the guy. All right, we're gonna go ahead and throw these. Actually, we'll let these sit for a second before we throw them in the oven. So we'll just set these to the side here. Said I'm old. <laughs> I want to be young like you. <laughs> You're only as old as you make yourself out to be. Walk around acting like a an eighty year old, then you're eighty. But if you energetic and move around, keep yourself moving quite a bit. Huh? Yeah, but I said it the way that I said. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't remember that saying. But how old are you, King Nappy? I am 30. I'll be 31 this year. I am 30 years of age with a sweaty forehead.
I was joking. Do you really think I'm 63? Uh, I can't see you, so I don't know. Age is just a number. My dad is 76. He's still going on like a Duracell bunny. <laughs> I know, right? I think that's Energizer, but yeah, that too. What are you cooking today? I'm cooking some, uh, let's take a look. So, got my glass of wine here. We got garlic bread over here that I just dressed. I got some pasta over here that I'm cooking. That's a spaghetti pasta. Add a little longer with that. This here is some pasta sauce that I'm making. I'm letting it uh, cook on the stove here and let it sort of reduce down a little bit. A tomatoes, garlic, basil, a little bit of salt, pepper. That fresh basil in there, I think that smells amazing. Some minced garlic. some uh, vegan meatballs and vegan uh, beef tips in the back here. Uh oh, one overboard. What about you guys? What do you guys cook for dinner tonight? What are you guys eating?
That is looking delicious, my friend. Appreciate that. I believe it will turn out delicious as well. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. You was not this morning. <laughs> Poppy Peso, what's up, man? Yeah, I was, I was out of it. <laughs> Poppy Peso, what's good with you, man? Hola, como estas? Como tu dia? What's up, Holmes? You remember me? Yeah, I remember you. <laughs> oh, man. I sweat on my forehead. So, this is what's cooking. Got some, uh, some spaghetti here. This shouldn't be too much longer. So, that's ready. Got some pasta sauce here. That's cooking and warming up. I'm letting that reduce down a little bit. We got some uh, vegan meat, uh, meat, meatballs and beef tips. And some uh, garlic bread. So I had some Italian bread and I got a little bit of butter here and kind of dressed it a little bit. I cooked in Swedish dish. You usually take leftovers like potatoes, onions, some meat, ham or beef, and fry it in some oil. Then a uh, egg, sunny side up on top. If you like, you also have pickled beets on the side. Oh, okay. That kind of sounds like a like poutine almost. Poutine. Oh, 
that or just a really weird way of saying protein. Right. <laughs> like maybe somebody was like autistic or something like that and they can't say words right. Poutine. Poutine. Bring it to a poutine. <laughs> Speaking of autism, uh, what's up, face did another charity stream today uh, for autism awareness. And I think somebody got it, came in the stream on being disrespectful to people with autism. And, uh, you know, people, they just got to. Like, they, they get hard on them for one moment. Somebody came to make them mad. Watch this. They're just like, come on, man, chill out. And, and, and like it's so easy to just ban you on Twitch. Like anybody even gotta get mad at you now. You say something out of line, they can just instantly ban, permanently ban you from the page. Right. So it's just like chill out. Poutine without the gravy. I know, right? Nah, G, you gotta have gravy. <laughs> he said, mm, "Poutine, the best. I eat so much." Cause I live in Toronto and poutine is Canadian. Got you. I will not make it worse. <laughs> it will not make it worse. I know, right? Hey, and I'm wrong with a good gravy, y'all. Especially if it's done right. I make homemade gravy too. I'm just still trying to learn how to perfect it. You know what I mean? The right temperature of the oil, the right time, the right amount of flour, what seasonings to add to, add to it. I'm still perfecting mine. So I wouldn't mind doing like some uh, animal fries one night and then like the caramelized onions, the mushrooms, and then add the gravy. That'd be good. Let me think more. More. What you think? Fam, I've been grinding ever since you seen me. I dropped like four new tracks. Oh, for real? That's what's up, man. Yeah. Yo, you gonna have to drop the links. Drop the links for the songs in the uh, in the chat if you can. I'll check them out uh, when I get done with the stream. Sometimes I have some beer, <laughs> beer nay sauce with it. Don't tell my cardiologist though. <laughs> I won't. I, I keep that between us. That's what's up, man, on the songs, though, man. Just drop the links for the songs so that way I, uh, I check them out. All right, I'll try. For sure.
sauce is ready, the noodles are ready, and the meat should be ready. So we're going to go ahead and throw the bread into the oven. It don't work sometimes. Oh, okay. Fernet sauce is a French butter sauce with lots of butter. Like, lots. <laughs> Dang delicious. Nice. My SoundCloud. Okay, okay. I'll check you out. What is that? Alright, we're going to go ahead and throw this bread into the oven for about maybe 10, 12 minutes. Yeah, man. Uh, I hey, you just gotta get in the kitchen, man. You gotta get in the kitchen more, and then you know we do we we do cooking recipes here every roughly every day, if not every other day. Uh, what we what we may start doing is uh, maybe like on a Monday or something like that we'll cook. The next day we may just do something a little more chill. Uh, following day we'll cook, you know, so on and so forth, and just alternate those days. Uh, between our cooking recipe days and our non-cooking days, but yeah, man, you definitely gotta come check us out on our streams, man. We uh, we we be pretty active on here now. Um, I was doing a bunch of test streams, so you might you might see like a few of those sprinkled in there. Just ignore those. I was trying to test out some audio and some some visual stuff, but um, yeah, man, definitely check us out. Some nice little white wine here. Not bad. I'll definitely find time because I got school and all. Oh, okay. Got you. Got you. Well, appreciate you dropping by and everything. <clears throat> picked up that, picked up some, uh, Peach Gallo family. Good stuff, though.
Man, I tried wine once and I just don't, it just don't taste good at all for me. <laughs> that, uh, that comment is kind of funny. Uh, that's probably just thinking off the top of my head, at least a hundred, maybe even 200 different variations of wine. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, there's definitely no one wine. <laughs> there's so many of them, dude. That's like me. Yeah, there's definitely so many versions. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let me see. Can I try one? It'll come with age. <laughs> you better wait a couple of years, right? Yeah. <laughs> that that comment is hilarious. Oh man, I tried wine. I didn't like it. What? <laughs> Dude, that's so many versions of wine. There's no telling which one you had or where you got it from, how old it was. <laughs> that's hilarious. tried white wine because my parents kept it in their room I checked the label and all <laughs> dude white and red is just <laughs> that is hilarious bro it was I checked the label it said white <laughs> that's hilarious Yeah, yeah, that's literally 100 different versions of wine, dude. Maybe even more than that. Uh, but good job. <laughs> good job checking the label. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> Listen, man, you shouldn't have had your, your little brother in their room, no way. I'm trying to drink. It definitely ain't, the, it definitely ain't for this one. <laughs> huh? Well, he's claiming to be 13, so if he is 13, it definitely ain't for him. <laughs> man, I never met a grunt man laughing at a <laughs> Man, that's hilarious. <laughs> Yo, I never made a 13 year old drinking wine.
You say who in the back? That's my wife. That's Queen Nappy in the back. She says hi. Maybe you are more of a hard liquor guy. <laughs> Dang, that's cool. For sure, for sure. King and Queen Nappy, man. <clears throat> he said, that's cool. I don't believe this dude 13 though. For one thing, don't nobody actually just walk around stating their age like that unless they're trying to get somebody to think that. Right, that's what I kept saying. Like, <laughs> don't nobody just walk around and keep telling everybody their age. Well, I'm I'm 13, so, you know, and, and then, oh, uh, did I tell you that I was 13? By the way, I'm 13. <laughs> no, it ain't even the paying attention to it, it's just like the, the constantly stating it. Like, they was what? 15, 16? Hmm. Mm. They what, like 15, 16? Yeah. So he don't, I don't hear Daylon going around just constantly just, just like giving out his age like that. Especially these around older people. Like he just ain't going around giving out his age. It's only like certain situations where kids that are young, that are actually young, who like just be blurting out their age back and forth. Is if like, they in trouble with an adult, and an adult like does something to them, or they trying to fool everybody and like keep throwing out their age. So that's why I think this guy's going. Like, he keeps saying he's thirteen, and he said it like four times already in the chat. <laughs> so the other person said the same. They're like, man, I think you trolling. I don't think you ain't thirteen. <laughs> That's why when he said I right, he drunk some wine, I just laughed at him. Just like, what did you thirteen drink of wine? That's hilarious. <laughs> he said laughing. My, so now nah, I promise you I am. Just check the SoundCloud, yo. Oh, okay, my voice will say it. <laughs> all right, all right. You thirteen? You know what I'm saying? Going off fourteen. You know what I'm saying? Alright guys, get a look at this garlic bread here. <laughs> look at that. What's for dinner? What up, Kiki? Kiki! So, we got some uh, spaghetti here that we even cooked. We got some pasta sauce we've been letting kind of simmer and reduce down. That's done. Some vegan meatballs and beef tips in the back here. Got a little bit of garlic bread here. And some Gallo family. Just a little bit of a simple white wine. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Uh, nothing like a sweet white wine. White wine. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm getting ready to plate everything up. And then I'm going to have dinner. And I'm going to probably catch you guys later on. 
Let me plate this up right quick, though. Looks delicious. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let me go ahead and get this plated up. Is Twitch just like a hobby for you, like or like what? Well, you know, I do content creation full time, so I'm on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, pretty much all that full time. Dang, what's your YouTube? You really should let the meatballs cook in the sauce. Yep, I should have. But nah. Because the sauce I got for the meatballs is a, more of a different sauce. I'm sure it's going to be delicious Delicious either way. Oh yeah, it's going to be dope. And I'll give you guys a peek at it before we sit down and eat. Kind of sound like dear mama almost.
with the big boys breaking all the rules. Bon appetit. So, give you guys a quick peek at everything. Let's see here. We got our spaghetti, our sauce right on top. Got our meatballs, got our garlic bread back here. Look at y'all knowing how to cook <laughs> cook things. I'm here with no clue how to turn on the stove. <laughs> but yeah, that's dinner. And we're gonna have a little bit of wine along with it let's go ahead and top it off with uh that is a healthy portion oh yeah top it off with some parmesan and this stuff takes forever to come out Yo, Kiki, thank you for joining the kingdom. Do me a favor, hit exclamation point HR to learn more about the royal hierarchy for me. There we go. So the royal hierarchy goes as follows. Join at tier one as a duke or duchess, tier two as a prince or princess, tier three as a king or queen. Each tier level will be identified as a variant crown. First crown is like a black crown, black and white. Second one is a gold tall one. Third one is a red velvet one with a gold trimming. And the, the very last one is a lion with a gold crown as well. Thank you for joining our channel. We use a royalty point system here. So uh, with you coming in and following and hanging out with the foil a little bit, you've already earned some points. So the way you check your points, you would check your points by typing in exclamation point R Y. I want everybody to do that and check your points. Everybody should have some points in here by now. Exclamation point R Y. So, Poppy, you have one hundred and twenty royalties. So, every ten minutes, let me go ahead and show you guys the system here. So, you earn royalties by being loyal. Every 10 minutes in stream, you earn 40 points. Every 10 minutes for a subscriber, you earn 80 points. Every 100 points, every 100 bits that you cheer, you get 200 points. If you subscribe, you get 1,000. If you host, you get 1,000. For every $1 that you tip to my channel, you get 100 points for that as well. If you ever want to check your points again, the same thing. Type exclamation point R Y. It'll show you your points and your placement on the leaderboard as well. The points, uh, and later on down the road, we're going to be getting like giveaway items and things like that. And you can use your points to uh, redeem for one of those items. Hosting is basically if I'm streaming and I got five viewers in my stream and I'm getting ready to end my stream, I can take my viewers over to someone else's channel and give them those views. Uh, but that's it at this time, guys. We're getting ready to go ahead and eat dinner. Oh, goodness. I appreciate everybody dropping by and just hanging out. Uh, 
Yeah, don't if you haven't followed me yet, don't hesitate to hit that follow button. No, I'm not sure if you're following me or not. Definitely follow me. Uh, Poppy, if you're not, you better. I think you already are, though. You should be good. Uh, Kiki, thank you for that follow, and I will catch you guys later on. Peace.